Hey family, what's good? This is your girl. I am the bronze goddess, and I'm back from the the thrift store. The strip store. Whoa. Okay, with the sale on there, clear heels. Anywho, I'm back from the thrift store, and I spazzed. Okay. First of all, I know I am late. I am tardy to the party. I want to send a huge shout out first and foremost to all of the um, divas here on YouTube who I've just been stalking your channels. I've been seeing so much about thrift hauls and stuff like that that I've been so excited about it and I had to go today. Um, shouts out to African Export. Shouts out to my girl Philly Diva. What up, girl? Uh, well, I feel like I know Philly. But anyway, shout out to Philly. Uh, shout out to who else do I follow that I love? Who is Sugar? Uh, hold up, Shug. Um, shouts out to, who did I, Close Encounters. I just discovered their channel. What up, Jen? What up, Sam? Is it Sam? Sarah. What up, Sarah and Jen? I have been on a Close Encounter marathon for the past, like, 24 hours. I've just been watching every one of their videos, getting inspired, saying, I'm gonna thrift, I'm gonna thrift. And what pushed me over the edge was my girl Sandy, the socialite life. What up, Sandy? Uh, yeah, she, she pushed me over the edge. When I saw all the blazers that she had in her haul from the thrift store, I was like, okay, I really need to build up my blazer collection, but I don't want to break the bank. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to the thrift store with a plan. I am looking for blazers. Okay, I found blazers. I found leather pants. I even found a fur coat. I am not even playing right now. Okay, so anyway, let me go ahead. And I'm trying to hold down on the crunkness because I am so hyped. I spazzed and I got so much cute stuff for shame. Okay. All right, let's go. Um. Okay, so the first item, this is... This is um, the only item that I got that I am looking at as a project. It's not really like a project project per se. Um, I really like it. It's actually like a really, a, what is that, velvet? It's like a velvet-like material. Um, and it's really, really cute. I got this because I was inspired by my girl Destiny Godly. She had gotten one in hot pink. And I saw hers and I was like, oh, I want one like that. So this one is really small. I'm very petite. So this one I think is a size four or six or something like that petite the, the reason why I say it's a project is because it's missing two buttons so I'm gonna have to replace the buttons but how hard is that and this was I got this at the thrift store for a dollar fifty everything that I'm getting ready to show you out of this bag was for a dollar fifty this velvety blazer one dollar and fifty cents all I have to do is replace the buttons and that's the only reason why this one is a project so to speak all right because I actually have to do something um, okay, so I got this next blazer, um, this is a size 4, but this is, I need them to be 4 in petite, because I'm only 4'11", so stuff has to fit me just right. I'm not sure if you guys can pick up on the pattern, it's actually really cute, um, a really cute pattern, this is a really nice little fitted jacket, um, well, I'm thinking about wearing this with some jeans, some skinny jeans with some, like, riding boots or something, or some motorcycle boots, um, it's a little bit, it's not long, it really, it comes to like mid-thigh, but it's really cute. I think I'm going to wear this with like some skinny jeans. Again, this was a uh, $1.50. Well made in great condition. Next. Now, I'm iffy about this. <laughs> I'm very iffy about this. But when I saw that it was from Express, I was like, it's worth a try. So this is from Express. And it's just this cute kind of... The material is like, it's I guess like a faux suede, I'm not sure, but it's really kind of furry material. I guess this is kind of like that cow print. I thought it was cute. I mean, it was $1.50. I figured to myself, if I got it home and didn't like it and never wore it, that's fine. It's $1.50, okay? But anyway, I kind of envisioned this with a crop um, leather jacket and some fishnets and some heels or some boots, a turtleneck and some boots, a cow neck, um sweater or something in some boots and some tights. That's kind of how I envisioned this. Like I said, it's from Express and it was $1.50. So, um, then I got this cute little skirt. And this skirt still has the tag on it. Um, and the tag said it was $19.99. It's just this cute little hounds print, um, skirt that I thought would be cute again with some tights and some motorcycle boots. And maybe a, a crop jacket, a crop leather jacket, or a crop black jacket. Like I said, it's just a cute little hounds print skirt. I thought this was really nice. A black turtleneck would be really cute, too. Or a nice uh, black cardigan. 
And then this is another hound's print tooth, but the print is very, it's a lot smaller. And this is it right here. It doesn't have a belt on it, but that's fine. I'll grab my own belt. Um, it's long and heavy. I like the, the fact that it's heavy. It's got, it's nicely lined. It's by a brand called Max and G. Um, yeah. Max and G, like I said, I'm going to add my own little belt to it. This would be really cute with a white button down or like a black uh, turtleneck. You guys have realized I don't do a whole lot of color. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Like it looks kind of gray from a distance, but up close is actually this hound's print. Um, but it's like the other skirt, but the print's just smaller. And this is a longer skirt. I really like this. I have my eyes on some Jeffrey Campbell Lita's. I think it would look really cute with some Jeffrey Campbell uh Leaders, if I ever get my hands on. Picked up a couple of pairs of jeans. Sorry about that. Um, this one right here is Ann Taylor. Yeah, these are Ann Taylor loft jeans. I like these because I like the wash on them. And these look like they've never been worn. They look, I mean, absolutely. I love really, really dark denim. This would be really cute with that blazer I showed you earlier. With either one of the blazers. And this is from Ann Taylor. And it's a petite, which is good. Hopefully that will fit me. We will see. We will see. <laughs> um, keep in mind, that was $1.50 as well. And then I got these. These still have all the tags on them. They're um, Liz Claiborne. And these were from Marshalls, but nobody ever rocked them. And these are, like I said, they're Liz Claiborne jeans. They have the pockets in the front and the little slits in the back. I thought this was really cute. Just some really cute jeans. The fact that they were brand new, that kind of appealed to me too. The fact that it had all the tags on it. Never been worn, I assume, because why would you wear all those tags? All right, so these next jeans. Oh, two more jeans. I really like dark wash jeans. I'm sure you can figure that out by now. Again, this is another um, Ann Taylor, another loft piece, Ann Taylor. You guys can see that. And these are the same, kind of the same kind of jeans. They're not really jeans jeans. They're kind of like denim pants. Have the little pockets here and the little slits in the back. Um, I'm hoping to do outfits of the days for these uh, later. Um, not later today or anything because none of these have been in the cleaners yet. I know my dry cleaning bill is going to be a beast. But for the price of these things, $1.50 for jeans, for Ann Taylor jeans, you kidding? Now these jeans, I'm not even thinking they're going to fit me. I'm pretty sure these are not even going to fit me. But uh, I'm thinking about, I might put these on eBay or something. I thought they were just too cute. They are classic Banana Republic. And I know my body is not going to fit in here, but I thought they were cute. If I can think of anybody who can wear a size zero or one, two, I will give it to them. But anyway, this is really cute. Really, really dark denim. I don't know how I just managed to get in my buggy because I know good and well I can't wear. I don't think I've ever been a zero. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, these are cute. I'm probably going to put them on eBay or something. Anyway, those are those. And then last thing that I got from this thrift store, last item that I got for $1.50, get off me, uh, were these pants. And these, what appealed to me about these was the fact that they were genuine leather. And they're just brown, very, very soft, brown leather pants. And I thought they were cute. There's a lot you can do with just brown, like, suede pants. For a dollar fifty, genuine leather? Are you kidding? Yeah, I'll find something to do with them. Uh, so that's what I got for from that thrift store. And then I was all geeked because I sp I got all those items that I just showed you for fifteen dollars and ninety cents. And then when I was at checkout, the girl, one of the ladies who was in front of me, Levi, she was very very sweet. Um. She was asking me if it was my first time, and I was like, yes, you know, I don't really do thrift stores, but I've been seeing so much about it, and I was excited, and I wanted to try it. And then I was like, well, why does it have tags on it for different prices if everything is $1.50? And she was like, well, 
that particular store where I went to is where the other Goodwills bring their things that aren't selling or haven't sold. So that's why they have other tags on them. But everything there was $1.50. So I was like, oh, okay. So then there was this man in front of us, and he was grabbing out bags and bags and bags of stuff, okay? Looking like bad Santa. So I was like, okay. And the bags are clear, so you can see through them. I said, is that Coach in his bag? And she was like, yes, girl. Yeah, they have Coach in here. I said, in here? She was like, yeah. So I, I said, okay. And then another man came, and she started talking to him. She's like, how are you and your wife doing? He was like, I'm doing fine. My wife is looking for their Juicy Couture bag. I was like, Juicy Couture? In here? And she was like, yes. She said, but you got to get here early. I was like, okay. She's like, you got to get here early. You got to know when they bring the good stuff. You got to know their schedule. You know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, well, some people have been out here since 5 o'clock this morning. And she said, some people have been here since 8 o'clock last night, like right after Thanksgiving. So I was like why and she said well these people actually have a ebay store and they actually sell their merchandise on ebay so that's why they're getting like the ann taylor's and the gucci and the whatever the heck else coach and all those different brands they flip it and sell it on ebay i said well i love to hustle so and i do anybody who can flip their merchandise and and, and get a business out of this i think that's a great idea so I'm thinking about it, child. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I got so many other projects I'm trying to do. Uh, but anyway, let's get on to the other part of my haul because I want to show you guys my fur coat, all right? So, so I went to the other Goodwill and I picked up some more things, all right? So I finally picked up the blazers there. And I picked up this blazer, which I love. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Hope my light isn't washing it out too bad. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it's kind of like a purplish color, but it's got like um teal and everything running in and out of it. It's gorgeous, very, very small. I'm very petite. This fits me very, very well. It's by the a brand called Kate Hill, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure of the price of these, but everything I'm getting ready to show you all totaled to be $47, okay? Well, $97 total, but when she gave me the 50% off Black Friday sale, it turned out to be $47. So this is a part of the $47 haul. But anyway, this cute little um, blazer, I love the tortoiseshell buttons on it, and I check to make sure that it's not missing any buttons. So it's, it's really in great shape. So off to the cleaners that goes. And then this blazer is by a brand called Kinar. Never heard of that brand, but the jacket is very well made. I think this is like seersucker. Um, I'm actually, I don't think I will be wearing this jacket um, during the winter because of the color, but this is definitely something really, really cute to wear in the, um, the springtime. This is perfect for the springtime. This with like some white linen pants. I think would be so, so cute. And then you could do a pop of color, like a hot pink clutch or a yellow clutch or uh, electric blue clutch. But it has like this bow here that keeps it closed. Very, very cute. And it fits me very, very well. Very fitted. I really, really love this blazer. So definitely building up my blazer collection. And this blazer that I got right here is kind of, it's black and speckled. The brand is called... Norton and Mc, McNaughton, I guess how you say it. It's really cute, just another cute little blazer. Again, you can wear this with like some leggings and some motorcycle boots, um, or however you decide to wear it, but I think that's what this will look good with. Or just some nice um, skinny, skinny black jeans, some riding boots. I picked up a couple of tops. This top right here is by Kim Rogers, and it's in a petite. It's just a simple um, brown sweater. I thought this was really cute. Simple and petite. This would look cute with the pants that I'm wearing today. But really cute, simple. It has a little cable knit on it. Little V-neck. Simple and cute, inexpensive. This last thing, well not last, I actually have a couple more pieces. But this is another thing from Ann Taylor, from Loft Ann Taylor. And this is just really cute, very feminine, very dainty. I love, it's just a blue and white, it may come across as black and white, but it's just a blue and white, um, really feminine, um, black and white polka dot shirt. This would actually look good. This might look good under the seersucker. I know it's mixing prints, but because the prints are so subtle, I think this might actually look cute together. Um, we'll see. 
but I thought it was cute anyway. Now I'm getting down to my two favorite pieces of the whole haul. Um, this is a pair of leather pants, black leather pants that I picked up, that I love, and these are dry clean only, dry clean only, 100% leather, I thought these were awesome, really, really cute, leather pants, what, leather pants, and the price on them says $12.51, so that means these were like $6.25. For leather. Like, where else are you going to find some leather pants for $6.25? Of course I'll put these in the cleaners. Yes, I will. Now for my favorite of my entire haul. Okay, so I was getting ready to check out, walking through the aisles, and I saw what I believe to be a fur coat. So when I rolled up on the fur coat, the, um, <laughs> the fur, it was cute and everything, but I was like, this can't be real fur coat. I mean, this is a thrift store. Um... So I'm, I know, right? So I'm like touching on the coat. I'm like, for it to be fake, it sure is soft. It's like incredibly soft. I was like, man, they sure making the fakes real nice. And then I saw this that says like dry clean only. And then I saw this. It says dyed, dyed rabbit fur. And I was like, this is a real fur coat. Are you kidding me? Yes. And the price on it was $49.04. So I was like, it would just be my luck that this does not fit. Because I like the fact that it looks like a young person's coat. It's not like your grandma's fur coat. And then I tried it on. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Now I do have to put it in the cleaners. You know, I can't believe I'm actually putting it on. But I, I, I love it. I love it. It is ridiculously soft. It's got pockets. I can see this with some big diamondy earrings, some skinny jeans, some heels, a clutch, headed downtown doing my thing. Headed downtown Atlanta, or this with a little black dress over top of it. This is my first fur coat, and I would have never thought that I would find it at the thrift store for like $25. I think it is hot to death, and for me to be so petite, it actually fits me perfectly, like it was tailor-made for me. So as far as I'm concerned, my thrift store haul was an amazing success. Like I said, I want to send a shout out to all of the divas that inspired me. Um, African Export, Philly Diva, um, The Socialite Life Sandy, um, Clothes Encounters. Like I said, I've been on a marathon with their videos for the past 24 hours. Uh, Destiny Godly. What up, girl? Um, I'm just really, really grateful because I got a lot of stuff for like less than $70. Like where else can I find fur and leather and blazers and Ann Taylor and jeans? I got a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Now I know I'm not the best at thrifting. It's like my first time, but I really had a good time. It was really like being on a treasure hunt, looking for pieces. And I just want to thank you guys for inspiring me. I really do. And um, yeah, I know I'm not the first person to do a thrift store haul or anything, but this is just the stuff that I pick out. This is like my taste. Everything that I showed you guys is kind of like my style. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to do, once I get everything in now, the cleaners, I'm hoping to do a, um, kind of like a fashion show or a lookbook. Ooh, doing like a lookbook with these pieces to show you guys how I would style them. But anyway, I've held you guys up long enough. Hope you guys are enjoying your Black Friday and your Black Friday sales. And shout out to the girl that I met at the store. I'm sorry, I should have got your name. But uh, what up, girl? She had a beautiful spirit, and she watches my YouTube videos and saw me at the thrift store. Hey! Um, so, yeah, let me go. I love you guys so much. Have a great day, all right? This is